Hello friends, let me introduce myself as Pebby. I think learning is great fun. I like to learn things in an interactive way. So, would you like to join me in my learning classes and learn along with me? Then, come along and join me. Pebby in the room, playing with toys. Oh, what do we see here? Pebby is sitting on the sofa, surrounded with toys and playing with her alphabet blocks. I like playing with my alphabet blocks. Well, English language has 26 alphabets. We can learn a little about them. A stands for apple. Yes, that's right. Now let's go ahead. B for ball. The ball is used for playing. C for cat. The cat says meow. D for dog. The dog says bow wow. E for elephant. Oh, look at him. How big he is. F for fish. The fish lives in water. G for goat. H for hippopotamus. I for ice cream. J for jam. K for kangaroo. L for lion. M for mango. N for nest. O for orange. P for piano. Q for queen. R for rainbows. S for ship. T for tiger. U for umbrella. V for violin. W for water. X for Xmas. Y for yak. Z for zebra. Baby is enjoying learning alphabets. So children, did you get to know something about English alphabets? Hmm. Now what is the color of the block Pebby is holding? It is a blue block and that one is red. Okay, now blue is the color of the sky and the sea and red is the color of the apple and yellow. Doesn't it remind you of a mango? I have enjoyed learning English alphabets and it was also a lovely experience learning them. Let me show you some of the basic geometric shapes. A triangle. A triangle has three corners. A rectangle. A rectangle has four corners. A circle. A circle is round in shape. And this is a line. What are the other things we see in Pebby's room? A cat sitting on a carpet. I think it should be a pet cat. pets which we keep at home. Can we learn a little bit about them? Dog, the most faithful animal and it guards our house. Cat, it keeps away the rats and mice. Parrots, lovebirds, fishes in the aquarium, pigeons, rabbits, hen. On the road, what do we see? A bus is coming. Ah, uh, Pebby wants to cross the road, but she has to wait until the bus goes. So, let us wait till the road gets empty so that Pebby can get to the other side of the road. Let us learn some of the traffic rules which should be followed when we walk on the road. 
Rule number one. When the red signal is glowing, we should not cross the road as we should wait for the vehicles to cross the road. Rule number two. When the yellow signal is glowing, then get ready to cross the road. Rule number three. When the green light is glowing, then cross the road. Rule number four. Walk only in the pedestrian crossing. Now, let us see some of the vehicles that help us in travelling from one place to another. A bus, a car, a lorry are four-wheeler vehicles which travel on the road. A motorbike, a cycle are two-wheeler vehicles. A boat, a ship are used to travel on water. A train, an aircraft an aircraft is used for travel through the sky. Well, there is no traffic on the road now. So, Pebby can cross the road. Pebby in the park. Oh, this is so refreshing. So much of greenery and it's so peaceful. And it smells good. Come on, let us see where is this fragrance coming from. It is from the rose. What are the other flowers we see in the park? A lavender. And that one is a sunflower. And that one a marigold. I can see three placards in the park. Let us see what is written on them. Do not walk on the grass. Do not litter. Do not pluck flowers. Let me show you some different types of plants we see in the park. A grass. A creeper. A rose plant. Jasmine. Lily. Marigold. A poppy flower. Burberries and shrubs. What do we see now? A little butterfly sitting on a flower. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, what do we see there? A squirrel eating nuts. Rabbit playing with each other. I really enjoy those rides in the merry-go-round. Well, I think we should now take a visit to the other side of the park. Wow! What a lovely landscape! I can see two beautiful ducks in the stream, mountains at the background, Pebbles and mushrooms along the side of the stream and a beautiful rainbow. Isn't the landscape really beautiful? Let us now learn a little about the different types of water and amphibious animals. A frog. A dolphin. A duck. A goldfish. My visit to the park was very enjoyable and I have learned a lot from it. Pebby in the market. It seems to be a big market. Pebby is standing near a fruit shop. What does she see? I can see some delicious fruits in this fruit shop like apples, grapes and let us see some examples of different types of fruits. An apple, papaya, a pineapple, a watermelon, a melon, a banana. A banana grows into a banana tree. It is a fruit which has very rich iron content. Strawberry Strawberries are used in making cakes, milkshakes and ice creams.
grapes. Now, let us learn a little about vegetables. A potato, a beetroot, a carrot, a radish. They all belong to a family of root vegetables. Root vegetables are vegetables which grow below the ground. Tomato Lady's finger Brinjal Cabbage Cauliflower Spring onions And onions Wow! What a lovely cake shop! It's smelling good! With lot of cakes! Welcome to my cake shop! So, what would you like to have? would like to taste a pastry. Children, I hope the visit to the market was interesting and you must have learned a lot from it. Pebby's visit to the zoo. Well, zoo is a place where wild animals stay. So, Pebby has made a visit to the zoo to learn about the different types of animals which stay there. I can see three cages. There's a tiger sitting in the first cage, a lion sitting in the second cage and a monkey in the third cage. I can also see an elephant standing. A tiger is a wild cat, a member of the cat family with beautiful yellow stripes on its body. A lion. A lion is also a member of the cat family. Its skin is golden yellow in color. It is also called the king of the forest. I think learning about wild animals is very interesting and I should tell you something more on them. Let us learn a little about wild animals. A gorilla, a monkey, a chimpanzee. They all belong to the family of apes. A deer. A rhinoceros. A hippopotamus. A bear. Kangaroo. Kangaroos are found in Australia. And it is also the national animal of Australia. A crocodile, an alligator, a turtle. They all belong to the reptile family. Learning about wild animals was really exciting. Let us now learn a little about domestic animals. Domestic animals A cow Cow gives us milk A donkey A dog Dog is the most faithful animal A horse Horse is a very swift animal Let us learn a little about birds A peacock is a bird with beautiful feathers Isn't it looking beautiful? Peacock is the national bird of India. Eagle Eagle is a bird with very sharp sight. Vulture Vulture is a bird which feeds on dead animals. Planetarium Pebby in the planetarium. Hello children. Welcome to the planetarium. Do you know that there are nine planets in the solar system? Let us learn a little about them. A planetarium is a theater built for presenting shows about astronomy and the night sky. It is a domed theater in which a special device in the center of the room projects a simulation of the nighttime sky onto a dome above the audience. Planetariums generally 
can show how the nighttime sky looks from anywhere on the Earth's surface at any time. There are nine planets in our solar system. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Now, let us study in detail about these planets. Mercury Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and the eighth largest. Mercury is smaller in diameter than Ganymede and Titan but more massive. Venus Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the sixth largest. Earth Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the fifth largest planet. Mars Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the seventh largest. Mars is also the name of the God of War. Jupiter Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and by far the largest. Jupiter is more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined. Jupiter was the king of the gods. Jupiter is the fourth brightest object in the sky. Saturn Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest. Uranus Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and the third largest by diameter. Neptune Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and the fourth largest by diameter. Neptune is smaller in diameter but larger in mass than Uranus. Pluto Pluto is the farthest planet from the Sun and by far the smallest. Pluto is smaller than seven of the solar system's moons. Pluto is the god of the underworld. My visit to the planetarium was very useful. I have learnt a lot from it. Hope it was also useful to you all. Playground Pebby in the playground Hello children. Let us make a visit to the playground. Playground is a place where we can play and have fun. It is an area designed for children to engage in physical activity. Modern playgrounds often have recreational equipment such as the seesaw, merry-go-round, swing, slide, climber, jungle gym, chin-up bars, sandbox, parallel bars, overhead ladder, playhouses and maze, many of which help children develop physical coordination, strength and flexibility. There are many other games which can be played in the playground. Football, Hockey, Basketball, Volleyball, Golf, Tennis, Table Tennis, Rugby, Cricket and Badminton. My visit to the playground was very useful. I have learnt a lot from it. Days, Week and Time Hello children. Welcome to the school. This is a place for studying. The school building has many classrooms. Inside the classroom, 
There are tables, benches, blackboard and a chalk to write on it. June, July, August, September, October, November and December. There are totally 365 days in a year. The months January, March, May, July, August, October and December have 31 days. Each month has 4 weeks. Each week has 7 days. They are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. The months April, June, September, November have 30 days. February is the only month which has only 28 days. Leap year is the year which comes every 4 years. Leap year contains a total of 366 days. In leap year, February month has a total of 29 days. We can see the date and month in a calendar. Each day has 24 hours. Each day has four sessions. They are morning, afternoon, evening and night. Let us now learn a little about minutes. One hour contains 60 minutes. One minute contains 60 seconds. One hour contains 3600 seconds. We can see the time with the help of a clock. The clock shows us the time in hours, minutes and seconds. Family and Neighborhood Now let's learn a little about family and neighborhood. A family consists of father, mother, brother, sister, grandfather and grandmother. Grandfather and grandmother are the parents of our father and mother. Uncle and auntie are the brother and sister of our parents. The children of uncle and auntie are called cousins and you are the nephew or niece for your uncle and auntie and grandchild for your grandparents. Children, with this we come to the end of this learning session with Pebby. I hope it was a good learning experience for all of you and it has been a lot of fun learning with Pebby.